Welcome to this video explaining how I soldered the LED grids for the 3D cube from Banggood. In the kit you get the circuit board which already has all of the components soldered. Uh, so it has a speaker, all of the chips, uh, the controls, uh, audio in and audio out, uh, power button and uh, USB and it also has an SD card slot. Uh, you also get a bag with standoffs and a USB to serial controller. Uh, an audio cable, uh, the wire to connect the circuit board to the LED grid, the USB power cable. These are the sockets which connect the grid to the circuit board. And of course you get the LEDs, you get quite a few spares and you also get a remote control. My kit didn't ship with the LED jig, so I had to build my own, which is fairly straightforward. I used a five millimeter drill bit and used two centimeter spacing for the grid. So the first thing to do is insert the first LED and the long leg or the anode is the positive leg. Um, Put that in facing to the left and then you simply bend that towards you just to keep it still in the hole. I just put a skewer on it and bend it towards me. And it's that simple. Um, and then we get the next one. Exactly the same. I'll just have that coming over to here. So, to help me solder these, I use a skewer here just as like a, a helping hand because these need to line up exactly. So, Now that those are together, I'm going to solder the first two together. And that is all there is to it. Again. Bend that anode towards you. And you can see these spring up pretty quickly. So it's just a case of using that helping hand to keep it all down while you're soldering.
Now that we have one row soldered, we're going to put a skewer on the right hand side of the negative legs and just bend them to the right over the skewer. It's important to note that the negative legs are the legs that go into the circuit board. And that is the first row done. So all we do is replicate the same process for the rest of the rows. Second row is done. What you need to do is bend these over to meet. Let's bend the negatives over to meet the negatives. And we're going to solder those together a moment. So here we are with the final row. So I'm just gonna run through the final part of the process. So at this stage I just lean on the skewer uh, just again as a third hand to stop the legs springing up.
I'm sorry for the length of the video, but I wanted to take my time and uh, explain how I built the grids in detail. So again, just bending the negative legs over to meet the other negatives. So when I'm soldering the negative legs together, there's a little pad on the leg, um, just a little lower down than the LED itself. And I just tin that pad, join the leg to it, and just heat the solder. And it just tends to run between the join and uh, makes a nice joint. And that's it, one grid finished. So the next thing is to test it. It's very important to test the grids just to make sure all the connections are solid. To do that, I use two AA batteries in series and just connect the negative leg to a crocodile clip and just run it up the grid with a positive wire. So we just need to build seven more grids and then it's on to building the cube. <laughs> 